Hello guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to deploy your Node.js app on Lambda serverless functions. So let's start. So here's a normal Node.js app. Um, this is the index file where you can see um, using the app.listen to run the server. So for server to make it serverless, you have to install a package called serverless http. Once you install you can import it then you can cover it with this module dot exports dot ender and use the server as function which we imported here and you can wrap around with that app which is defined okay here so after that you have to zip that folder the server folder so to that to do that we are gonna use a online zip maker so here we'll upload the zip folder so ahk backend so i'm selecting the folder server folder so you have to zip that folder so now i'm gonna download it so after downloading it you have to go to lambda on aws then go to the functions tab here and create a function we'll call it test youtube you can select your node.js version here so i'm using 18x so let's create that function it's gonna take some time to create it okay so it is done now we have to upload our zip file zip file here so you can upload from a zip file upload downloads then you can upload that zip file save so it will show all that files your server files here the backend files which we wrote this serverless app so if you want to test it you can test so let's click on test we'll give it test um, save test so it is okay so the status code is 200 that means it's success you can see it's giving us the message hi so now you want a url for the function so you can go to the configuration then here function url then you can click on this create function url and choose this as none then great see okay so it is done you have your function url here we can test it so you can see it is giving us the message hi and so we can check other routes like i have one page one and limit equals to 10 so it will give us the data here that means it is working you can also disable or um, configure course like if you want to make request from other another domain so that is it thank you for watching